My name is Taz Elias, um, based in London, um, and I'm part of the brand studio um, at the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, and I'm here to present um, about what we're calling the sound logo with my colleague Samir, who is also a member of the brand studio at the foundation and also online with us uh, is our colleague Kelsey, who is a part of the Mov movement communications team at the foundation as well. Thanks, Seth. Would you give me a minute to translate? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> مساء الخير السلام عليكم مرحبا بالجميع اهلا بكم في الطاوله المستديره لفريق الاعلام بمؤسسه ويكيميديا كما تفضل زميلي تاز الياس بتقديم نفسه نحن هنا اليوم للحديث عن الشعار الصوتي ويكيميديا وهو احد المشروعات الجديده التي نقوم عليها سمير نعم السلام عليكم لا نحتاج الى ترجمه هناك مترجم الاخ انس يترجم حاليا يترجم فوري فوري عظيم 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 جيد اوكي okay, تاز they are telling me they have a simultaneous interpreter on the call we, we they don't need like a, a consecutive interpreter just go ahead brilliant okay thank you very much um, so we are going to speak to you about Um, and looking at called a sound logo. Next slide, please. And as we have I'll go straight ahead. So a sound logo um, is often referred to also as a sound brand, um, or an audio identifier. And it is a short sound recording that indicates an identity or a message about a company, an organization or a brand. What we're going to do is provide a bit more detail about what a sound logo is and also how it equates to the Wikimedia movement as well. Next slide, please. So hopefully my colleague is going to play this video and it will give you an idea of the Netflix sound logo. Ah, this is the PDF. Okay. So what we'll what we'll potentially do is share some links in the chat at the end for everyone to listen to these various sound logos. Um, or you can imitate it, Dad. Companies. Or you can imitate it, Dad. Like da da. <laughs> yeah. So it'd be like da da. And Intel is boom 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 boom. So these are often sounds that you hear primarily on adverts and promotional videos. So this slide gives you an idea of often how sound logos can be delivered in a domestic setting. So these are all smart speakers. So from the left to the right, these are smart speakers from a company called Harman Kardon, which is an American uh, consumer speaker company. And that has the Google Assistant, voice assistant programmed into it. Next to that um, is the Google Nest, which again has the Google Assistant. And there we have the Amazon, the first generation Amazon Echo dots and the Amazon Echo, which has Alexa. Um, and lastly, which is the only um, smart speaker and voice assistant which works uh, with Arabic is the Apple HomePod, uh, which has Siri programmed in. So I think in the context of what we're speaking about, Apple and Siri is essentially what we're focusing on in terms of um, the Arabic speaking world. 
Next slide, please. So in the context of the Wikimedia movement, a sound logo will help users of smart speakers and voice assistants instantly recognize Wikimedia content. What we would like to do is improve the frequency and consistency of the identification of Wikimedia content in situations like this. Um, in a study by an American company called VoiceBot, um, when users of smart speakers asked their voice assistants questions about brands um, across all sorts of voice assistants um, that I spoke about previously, including Google, Google's Assistant, the Amazon Alexa and Siri, between 88 and 97 percent of the correct answers were actually sourced from Wikipedia. So that shows you how many um, how much data is sourced from the Wikimedia movement to answer questions that are asked of voice assistants. So you have a very high percentage of answers coming from Wikipedia, but a, a particularly low percentage of those answers were actually attributed to Wikipedia. So every so often it would say, the voice assistant will say, according to Wikipedia or source from wikipedia.org, the answer to your question is. In the, the Sound Logo project that we're looking at currently, uh, we envisage that the Sound Logo will cover all of the Wikimedia projects in all of, all of the available languages that are used to respond to searches that are made through smart speakers and, and through voice assistants as well. This is specifically via the Wikimedia Enterprise platform that is currently looking at clients. Um, so those clients, again, as I said, include, may include Amazon, Google, Apple, and Facebook. Um, but this is an opt-in situation. So it's, 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 it's not an automatic requirement for those clients. Um, to attribute information that they get from the Wikimedia ecosystem. What we would like to do is ensure that they are contracted to um, and they conform to the terms and conditions of that contract. So when they do attribute or identify information from the Wikimedia ecosystem, it's done with a sound logo rather than with different language or different verbal attribution. So that gives you a bit of a synopsis about the Sound Logo project that we're currently looking into. Um, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. Myself, Samir um, and Kelsey are on hand to answer any questions you have as, as best we can. I know that was a relatively short presentation that only gives you a bit of an intro, um, but please feel free to ask any questions. I think attendees may need to ask questions in the chat. So I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure people's audio are working. So if you have any questions, please send a message in the public chat. Um, and if you'd like any further information about anything we've spoken about, I can give more context and more detail.
I'll give everyone maybe a couple of more minutes if they have any questions. Um, and then after that, I may pose a couple of questions myself to answer. I'll make a quick point about why improving identification and attribution of Wikimedia content um, on smart speakers and through voice assistance is important. Um, as we know, attribution is particularly important in the Wikimedia movement. Um, we're very keen to ensure that partners and intermediary search platforms like Google um, do attribute us. The important thing is that when they use our data, they don't use it directly from us. They essentially make a copy um, and they serve it to their users instead, instead of us serving it to their users. The important thing is if users of that knowledge and receivers of that knowledge don't know that it's from Wikipedia, that may have a detrimental effect, that may have a negative impact on the amount of people that know it's from us. So brand awareness goes down and it makes it harder to um, invite and recruit new contributors to the Wikimedia movement. So we're very keen for as many people as possible to know that the data, information and knowledge they're receiving from large tech companies is coming from Wikipedia. Hi, Kelsey. Can you hear us now? I can. Hi, team. Great job. And I'm here to take your questions. We asked yet also if there's any questions about yesterday's brand resolution announcement from the Board of Trustees. I can answer a couple of those questions if you have them. ANS, yeah, I see you in the chat. That would be helpful. Although I want to make sure that, you know, this is the board of trustee, the a resolution passed by the Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees, and it's really theirs to speak to as much as possible in terms of the intention and meaning behind this resolution. So I will give you a quick overview, um, but I would really encourage you to look at, read the resolution directly and ask your questions on the resolution talk page to make sure that you get that kind of clarity. So with that, um, yesterday, the Shani Evenstein on the Board of Trustees published a resolution passed by the board on September 15th about the future of branding work. 
And it essentially does two things. One is it extends the pause on any work related to renaming for the Wikimedia Foundation until at the very, very earliest, July 2022. And that if that work was going to take place, it would require further consultations with the Wikimedia community. That's piece one. The second is that it endorses new branding projects that take a different direction. And among those projects is this one, Sound Logo, which we're really excited to start talking to all of you about. And if you don't have questions today, we're open to chatting and having a dialogue over the next several months. So please take your time to think over the, the project and, and see how you feel about it. Um, the other projects include, or resolutions include, flexible naming for affiliates, updating our brand guidelines work, which is a service the foundation does for affiliates and also working closely with affiliates who ask for support and, and volunteer for it, particularly in emerging communities to give customized branding support on things like taglines and other identifiers. So that's the resolution in a nutshell. And on the brand studio team and in the communications department at the foundation, we're really looking forward to taking forward these new projects in service to the movement. And I can go ahead and find the link and drop it in the chat while you have any other questions. Here is a link to the resolution. And my favorite way to learn about it is, of course, on our diff blog. There's a really great summary and a post authored by Shani. And I will post the link to the diff blog here as well. Jack, I see you typing in the chat. If you want to just go ahead and join, this is meant to be a round table. Round tables in the virtual setting are always a little bit stiff, but please feel free to just come off mic anyone and, and chat. This is about listening and, and hearing your points of view and questions. I think Jack has joined as a listener. So if you would like to open your mic, yeah, you will need to log off and join again. <laughs> That's the problem with this platform. Um, I can see a lot of people here who were part of our branding activities over the past few years, like um, Wikimedians from um, Wikimedia Algeria, Wikimedia Morocco, Tunisia, and uh, Wikimedia Levant in Egypt, um, who have been highly interested in participating in uh, our branding activities. And with um, a lot of things going on, like um, the new sound logo uh, project that Taz just shared with us, updating the brand guidelines and uh, supporting um, affiliates with, with branding. Uh, there is a lot going on. I would love to hear if, if any part of that is unclear or um, to any of the affiliates attending here. And I can see also that Jack has joined uh, again. Can you speak now, Jack? Yes, um, can you hear me? Uh, it sounds like we're good. Um, I'm going to ask in Arabic and then I'll ask in English. Uh, but Habib Afham Minkum is a fee of car or is a empty sound logo in Wikimedia. We've come to this marhale or not? Um, and basically, I'm just wondering if there is any examples of sound logo ideas um, for Wikimedia if you've reached to that. Just curious to see what that sounds because um, I think of ba, 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 uh, McDonald's. Um, this is McDonald's. Ashan Arab al Gada, lunchtime. I'll take, I'll take the answer off of Mike. I, I can speak to that, Jack. Lovely to hear you. Um, in terms of the ideas for the sound, what we would like to do as part of the project is 
um, open up a global contest for members of the Wikimedia movement um, to submit ideas um, and also future members of the Wikimedia movement or people that aren't part of the Wikimedia movement as yet or members of the public as they're quite often uh, referred to as. So our, our dream, our desire would be to open a global contest so we can so we would put together what we would call a brief or some guidelines around how the sound should sound so how long it is so whether it should be one or two seconds how simple it should be so like you said with the mcdonald's sound logo whether it should be between three or five or six notes and those notes should only be heard on their own so they should be monophonic on their own rather than as chords are often played on instruments so we would put together a sound brief like that and we would open it out to members of the wikimedia movement and members of the public to submit and to be voted for by members of the wikimedia movement and members of the public as well so that's our dream that's what we're hoping to do over the next however many years um, it takes. I think that the first step, I imagine, at this stage, it's still very, very early, but that the first stage would be to get various members of um, our Wikimedia um, affiliates, chapters, language groups, projects. We would want to get their opinions on what they think um, the sound logo should be firstly actually whether it's a good idea and you know answer any questions they have and if we're able to get support for it how how they think it should work essentially so that's that's how it's looking at this very early stage so hopefully that answers your question Taz, i don't know if that's true because i'm on your team but i would like to ask a question uh about the sound logo um are, are there examples of uh, what we would like to do on um, on on sound on voice assistant um, devices or like ha has anyone done something like that like when they search for something or has Google for example used that to um, celebrate an occasion or something to play a sound when you search for something in particular? So at the moment, you'll probably not be surprised to hear that the large tech companies have a monopoly on sound logos on smart speakers. So the only sounds that you will hear on smart speakers are from the owners of those smart speakers themselves. So when you ask Siri a question, there's the, the two tone sound that denotes that Siri is responding to you saying, hey, Siri. The same can be said for um, Alexa on Amazon and Google Assistant on Google. So at the present moment in time, there isn't what we would call an external or third party partner of the large tech companies that have a sound logo that is being played on smart speakers and through voice assistants. But we know because of the creation of the Wikimedia Enterprise API, we know through the creation of that service to some of those partners, we know that those large tech companies are open to us um, essentially looking at a sound logo for the service that we provide to them through our Wikimedia projects. So we know there is an appetite uh, for us to provide a sound logo for the data. As I said before, upwards of 88% of a large number of um, you know, searches for data on the smart speakers are often sourced from the Wikimedia ecosystem. So our enterprise partners are aware that, uh, as are we, that they do utilize us an awful lot for the information that they provide.
حسنا قبل ان ننهي اللقاء ان كانت هناك اي اسئله كنت اود ان اسال ان كان لديكم اي استفسارات حول موضوع الشعر الصوتي او موضوع تجديد العلامه التجاريه دليل العلامه التجاريه والتحديثات الاخيره I was just saying in Arabic before switching to English, uh, if, if anyone has any thoughts before we wrap up that can be uh, around the sound logo, the uh, brand guidelines, or any of the communications work happening right now. And a question to you, Taz, um, uh, before we wrap up, I also want to ask if an affiliate or someone in the community would like to um, learn more or participate or inquire about um, that project, how, how would they get in touch? I think at this stage, the best route for engagement is there you go. Kelsey has put the email in the chat. So the email is soundlogo, one word, at wikimedia.org. And that will come to myself, Kelsey, um, and also our colleague who's the senior project manager um, for uh, the brand studio, Lena. So feel free to email us any questions, any thoughts, any feelings you have about our sound logo um, and the project around that to that email. Um, and also there are opportunities to engage um, directly with the resolution on the on the page that Kelsey shared um, a little bit earlier. So it will be the foundation website. So we invite everyone to read the next steps for brand work as part of the resolution from the Board of Trustees and also read um, the post on the diff page as well that that breaks it down in a really really quite concise and um, quite intuitive way. So please read those pages, interact where you can, and if you'd like to, please email us direct um, and we'll, we'll respond. So I think, I want, oh. sorry, go ahead, Kelsey. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you were finished. I wanted to add there's gonna be one more avenue where folks can connect with us. And it's not ready yet, but in the next few weeks, around November, to, November 1st, maybe not exactly, We'll be putting up a meta wiki page for the sound logo project and chatting with volunteers on the talk page there so it's our intention to make as many ways as possible as fit with all of you in order to connect so you have the email address you'll have the meta wiki page you can engage with the resolution in the meantime and if there's a different way that you'd like to connect with us reach out tell us what works for you if you want to have a follow-up chat with us if you'd like us to come and talk to your user group we're very interested in doing all of those things. So just let us know. Thanks very much, Kelsey. And I think with that, um, it's 30 minutes past the hour. And I think we're gonna wrap up from here. Again, if you have any questions about the Sound Logo, please email us at soundlogo at wikimedia.org um, and interact with the resolution post that we shared. Thanks very much to everyone in attendance for listening to us. Um, and I'm sure um, we'll be in touch in the near future to talk about um, brand resolutions and sound logos. Thanks very much, everyone. Thank you all. Bye.